All right, I think this is recording. Hello and welcome everyone. I am doing a little uh, session today with our Director of Religious Ed, Megan Ulrich, and we're just going to talk to each other about how things are going. She's been uh, working outside of the office. I'm in the office. Believe it or not, Megan, I'm not sitting in your desk. I'm sitting slightly Pretty to the left of your desk, yes, in another room, but uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit to see how things are going and how things have been going with your kids and what you've been doing to keep them kind of entertained or at least engaged maybe spiritually and also in terms of education because a lot of people are dealing with that right now I think just being cooped up at home so I'll just throw it over to you how are things going first of all um I say so far so good we started off the first week when all this broke we were um our schools were on spring break so well I guess that's the same for Ogden and Boone so I kind of didn't feel the effects of everything until that first week was over. I let the kids have spring break. We kind of hung out, did some fun things. Um, but then Monday, I thought we need to get a schedule going around here. Um, and yeah, I haven't been in the office. I'm going to try to stay home for most of this. Um, I don't kind of concerned about um, our family getting sick because Holden's had some respiratory issues in the past. So I want to keep this away from him for sure. But um, family-wise, I've got a little schedule going with the kids. We kind of do some learning in the morning um, and been trying to work on religious ed stuff in the interim and keep up with housework and cooking and all that. So I have a question. Does part of that schedule involve Holden trying to teach me how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yes. Holden did a video tutorial for Father Ross on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That was very nice of him. I learned a now, lot. Now that you're living on your own, you need a little help there. With the That's cooking right. Part. That's right. Okay, Maybe. so what did things look like? So before you put together your schedule, was mm -hmm. it just like, okay, I don't know, let's just start the day and see what happens kind of thing? Um, I had it ready to go that first Monday. So I don't. I kind of looked at some online examples and I just kind of knew that if we didn't have something that we were all going to go a little crazy, um, which proved its point because this past weekend was the first couple of days we didn't have a schedule and I felt like I'd been doing pretty good up until this point but this over the weekend I started feeling a little more anxious like what am I supposed to be doing where am I going um you know just not having a schedule knowing what to do next was kind of throwing me for a curve too so what are the main components of the schedule you, um we start with a walk in the morning and then we work on like math reading um the kids made a whole list of just things they want to learn about so we're kind of going off of that for just extra learning, which um, is a very uh, random list. We've got like pioneer history, taxes, Malayan tapirs. Taxes? Who wants to, yeah, if, if wants to learn about, about taxes? taxes? She had wow. so many questions one day about how things get paid for. And I said, we will just write this down and make a lesson out of it. Can I, can I join your course about that? I don't can know I if I'm I... even qualified to teach it. <laughs> so well, anything would help me, trust me. <laughs> Yeah, so we do that. that. Let's start there. Yeah, and then, I mean, lunch, recess is pretty long. Recess is about <laughs> two hours because okay. that's when I get right. my mom stuff done or my religious ed or whatever I'm working on. And then we did leave, like, we're doing a designated, like, half hour a day towards something spiritual. So your mass videos have helped a lot. We We made a list of something spiritual we could do each day. So it could be daily mass. It could be the rosary it could be just a topic they want to learn about or i mean your live video the other day was at perfect time i turned that on and i said oh father ross is doing their lesson today and then the pope's special blessing the other day we watched that so that was great wasn't it that was yeah awesome. that was amazing so it was kind of cool it's kind of nice to slow down and have the time to do that at home I, sometimes i feel like with my job i'm so busy teaching other people's kids um religion that we don't all often focus on it at home as much as we should who is that shut that off please is that one of your kids yeah she's washing her hands she's doing very good at washing is her that, hands is that in the schedule good. wash your hands at yeah yeah every that. five minutes hey. wash, take a break wash your hands good. good so yeah it's going pretty well well good so you said in, <clears throat> in terms of um do you did you say you have a set time in terms of when's lesson time for you guys is there like a lesson every day or is it like based on, you said you uh, were kind of talking about multiple things that you guys are going over. Is that a kind of a daily thing then? Yeah, daily we do. First thing 
the kids get up, get dressed, get their chores done. And so they're kind of incentivized that if they get their chores done before we take a walk at 930, then they can play on their tablets or whatever until it's time to go. But that gets them up and going a little bit better. Um, and then we do like math for a half an hour, whatever they want to learn about for maybe an hour. And then they read for an hour while I get lunch ready. And then we have lunch, recess, the two hour recess, and then come back and do at least 30 minutes of something spiritual. And um, afternoons kind of creative time, free for all. Um, my kids really like to do like painting, crafts, stuff like that. And sometimes I feel like they don't get as much of that in school as they like to. So I thought while we take this break, we'll really focus on doing some of those things that they enjoy more. So, I mean, all in all, it's probably not that much learning time, but I say mm-hmm. it's better than nothing. And we're, yeah. we're just going to try to enjoy the time we have. Right. Do you, do you think that um, when you kind of started this, uh, when all this was happening, is this going better than you expected or about the same or worse? Um, overall, I mean, I guess I'd say about the same. We're, I don't think it was as big of a shock for our family as a lot of families. I mean, I, I think it's just crazy right now that some families are like busier than they've ever been because parents are trying to work from home and keep their kids occupied. Or, you know, some people, if, if you live alone, I mean, it's got to be crazy, crazy, crazy boring trying to fill in time. So I feel like a lot of us are at extreme ends of the spectrum. But um, I was a stay-at-home mom since my almost nine-year-old was 10 months old. So we've been kind of used to this. I mean, yeah, that other than summers, we haven't done it for a while. And then Matt, my husband, farms. So he can still get out of the house. He doesn't have employees. So he's social distancing on the farm. Um, and we live so far out in the country. We're not used to going shopping frequently or going to a lot of places. So overall, it hasn't changed too, too drastically for us, which I'm grateful for. But my heart goes out to the people that aren't in that same situation too. Yeah. Would you give, as, is there any advice maybe for those people that aren't really used to it? Um, maybe as much as have as much experience as you guys do with that, where do they, where do they start? Is it with a schedule developing some sort of routine? Yeah, I think, I think that's huge. Um, Helps you divide up the time and gives the kids, I don't know, I think kids just behave a little bit better because they know what's coming next and know what's expected of them. But there's for sure days that we don't follow it too. You just kind of have to go with the flow and just try as much as you can to enjoy the time. Um, I think a lot of parents right now are getting overwhelmed with all of the information coming from the schools, all of the websites out there, all of the learning you could do right now. I would say just pick one or two things a day to focus on them and maybe let let the kids kind of lead you where they want to go with what they want to learn about. They don't At school, they don't really get to pick what they do next or what they learn about. So I think it's a good time to let them just focus on what they enjoy and what interests them. Um, but definitely we go off schedule a lot. Like last Thursday was my husband's birthday and we had to plan a big party. So we didn't do school. (laughs) And Matt said, school's canceled because it's my birthday. (laughs) That's pretty awesome. You know, just make it fun overall. Cool. All right. Well, anything else you would like to, any other advice you'd like to give some of our families, parents, or kids at home right now? Um, I don't, I mean... I'm not saying that, you know, God purposely planned this and did this to us all, but I think it's a great opportunity, great wake up call for everybody just to slow down and think about what really matters, what is really important. I think we're all guilty of being so busy and overscheduled and um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to just slow down and spend time with family, focus on on, um, our faith and remember what really matters and hopefully with some lessons that we're learning over this um, quarantine time, so to speak, we can carry that forward. I'm super interested to see what changes the world makes after this. So I'm hopeful that there's um, a brighter tomorrow on the other side. (laughs) And my daughter's hopping through the kitchen like a rabbit right now. Stop. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, this has been fun. Thanks, Megan. I appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your yeah. out of your schedule, whatever that looks like today. Um, to, to We're off schedule out. today. <laughs> off schedule, all right. 
<laughs> that's out the window. But uh, okay. thanks again. I appreciate it. Hopefully this is helpful for um, people that are watching this today, parishioners and, and whatnot about what to do, especially we're not, yeah. not used to this routine. So okay. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Right, thank you. Yeah. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye. You too.